Once there was a king. He lived in a huge palace surrounded by beautiful gardens having streams and fountains. He had no child. After many years, his daughter was born and the king was overwhelmed with joy. The king threw a grand party and people bought different gifts for the princess. However, one of the gifts was strange. It was a glass globe and it had fish swimming inside. One day, the little princess was playing with the globe. She tapped on it three times and suddenly she transitioned into another world. It was a magical underwater world. There were beautiful round stones, green grass, tortoises, gold orange fishes, mermaids, and beautiful pearls. She was in awe of this magical land. She felt nervous at first, but then she met some mermaids and made them her friend. She had spent quite a good time in this world. Now she wanted to go back to her palace. My parents must be searching for me, thought the little princess. How can I move to my world? She was anxious because she had left the globe in her palace. The little princess began to cry. Suddenly, a mermaid approached her and asked the reason of her crying. The little princess told her that she can't go back to her own world. The mermaid cast a spell. She transitioned into her own world. It was such a unique experience for her. She looked at the clock. It was striking 4 p.m. which means she had spent only 10 minutes in the other world. It was strange for her since she spent a whole day under the water, but in this world, it was still daytime. The little princess was enthralled by this magical globe. She didn't tell her parents about this adventure because she didn't want her parents to take this globe away from her. Whenever the princess felt alone, she would go for an adventure in the underwater world and come back after meeting her mermaid friends. Since the princess had no friends in the palace, this globe was an escape from her lonely life. The princess would tap on the globe and visit the underocean world most often. After tapping the globe, she would return to the human world. But one day, she forgot to take the globe with her again. But she wasn't worried because she knew that her mermaid friend would help her get back. She enjoyed a great deal of time in the ocean. It was getting late and she thought to go back. She enjoyed a great deal of time in the ocean. It was getting late and she thought to go back. She asked the mermaid to help her go back with her magic spell as she had forgotten her globe in her world. The mermaid cast a spell but it didn't work. She repeated the spell, but nothing happened. The mermaid sent some spirits to check the globe. They came back with the news that a maid was working in the princess room. The globe slipped from her hand and it broke. Now the spell would not work and the little princess cannot go back to her world. This was devastating news for the princess. She wept and didn't eat food for days. The mermaid told her that the only way to go back to her world is to find a magic door in the ocean. It will lead you to your world, but you will have to find it on your own. It was a challenge, but there was hope. The princess spent months in the ocean. One day, she was swimming in the ocean. She discovered an old box tucked up among the bushes. She opened it with great strength as it was rusty. To her surprise, there was nothing but an old key. She kept the key in her pocket, thinking it might help her someday. After a few days, she was swimming again and her head struck something hard. It seemed like an iron lid. It was heavy and there was a small hole. I should open it, the princess thought. She applied force with all her strength but it didn't open. I have a key in my pocket. Let's try it. The princess thought. She put the key in the lid and suddenly it opened with a flash of light. She was awestruck. She didn't comprehend what was happening. Soon, a path appeared. 
she started walking on it. After a few minutes of walking, she realized it was the human world. But the world had changed now and there were a lot of buildings. She had lost count of the years she spent in the ocean but she was overjoyed that at least she returned to her world.